Guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another 3 in 1 action figure review on the G.I. Joe Classified series Night Force Tunnel Rat. We have the Cobra Shadow Tracker and Parth Wolf Spider Varma. If you're trying to get your G.I. Joe Classified figures, you can do so. Oh, big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. If I remember correctly, uh, the Night Force Tunnel Rat is a Walmart exclusive, and I think the Wolf Spider might be also. I, I could be wrong about that, but I am mostly looking forward to the Shadow Tracker right there. Looks awesome, and you can see I'm following through right over here. We got 107, 108, and 109, leaving off from 106 from the last review I did on the G.I. Joe Classified line. And then you can see on the back of the packaging over here, you get all the accessories being shown off. And then on this side right here, you get the QR codes. It says G.I. Joe Classified on the top. Not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack these things open. <laughs> And here are the figures out of the packaging, and I think they all look very, very cool. I like how cohesive they look, even though, you know, that they're not all Joes, and we got one Cobra, which, by the way, yeah, dude, that Shadow Tracker looks especially badass. Uh, just spoiler warning, that's my favorite of the three, uh, but we're going to get a close look at each one of them, so let's start with Tunnel Rat. <laughs> So I don't know what I like about Tunnel Rat so much, but I think he's just really cool. I do like the head sculpt. I don't know if I like the paint apps on this Night Force version more so than the original version. I try not to keep multiples of each character around, or at least, you know, outside of some of the most popular characters from G.I. Joe. But I really like both of these Tunnel Rat figures, and I can't figure out which one I like more. I may just keep both of them. But yeah, I like uh, the paint added to this one. This one looks like it has a little bit too much peach or pink on the bridge of the nose right there. I wish that wasn't so heavy-handed with the paint. Uh, we do have some nice camo right there, and we do have the backpack, which just fell off a second ago. Uh, we get red-themed lights right here, a little bit splotchy around the edge, as opposed to the regular version that has the green. Same thing with the headgear, original version, green for the lights. This one, uh, you get the lights resting on top right here. Yeah, there you go. Pretty easy, not that hard to get over his head. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then you can see uh, we get his sidearm or his chest arm. <laughs> get it? Because it's on his chest. But yeah, revolver right there looks pretty good. It's all in green. And then you get that Night Force logo right there. Nice deco. Looking pretty clean, man. But yeah, you can see the ammo looking pretty good with the gold right over here. And the gray plastic. He has this pouch on the side. Flesh tone looks pretty good on him. Again, though, uh, with the original version, there is something about having the added paint that I just like. I don't know what it is. But yeah, the color scheme is all darker and everything as it should be. It's the Night Force version. Uh, we also have a blade right over here. So that looks pretty good with the silver paint. I do like that. Knee pads, boots right there, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And then he comes with his big old gun right over here. I wish it was a little bit easier to get him laying down on his belly to fire this thing. Uh, I wish, yeah, the articulation articulation just worked a little bit better for that but you know it's still pretty cool it's just i wish i could get him laying down and firing with this thing i am able to get him laying down it's just tricky to do <laughs> and then here's looking at the shadow tracker and oh my god dude this head sculpt is so freaking badass and he has three different faces on top of it this just looks so damn cool to me man i actually want to get a second one of these just because i can't decide which face to leave on here but Damn, this skull looks so sick with the green and black. Those white eyes look great. I love the hair on this thing, too. I love the shading that we're seeing right here. Just wonderfully sculpted, wonderfully painted. What a great head sculpt, man. Ah, oh, this thing is sick. No, it doesn't come off. That's the face. I had to just double check. But then I also really like having this translucent cover over it, too. That looks really awesome as well. I really like that. That just really stands out, pops out at you when you stare at it on the shelf uh, and I love that they've added this to this figure as well as this mask right here which I think is my favorite of the I can't 
tell which one is my favorite of the three different faces you can put on this figure. But I love all three of them. This is for, I love that detailed paint right there for the bone. Ah, oh, dude, looks so freaking sick. And the rest of the figure looks badass too. I like having this match with this right shoulder pad right here. That looks really good. And then, yeah, the musculature looks great and everything. Dig the flesh tone. And then you can see the pouches right over there. we got some rope and some bones hanging over here. It does come with an axe, so that looks pretty good. You know, no paint added to it or anything. And then you can see on the back we get some leopard spots printed on there. And you get the weapons, you get this knife. On the back right here, uh, you get the bow, which... I had to look up some promo images to figure out exactly how to store this on the back of the figure. And it does look pretty good. You also get this added. Is this the sight? I, I'm not really sure, but you can go ahead and port this on like that. And that looks pretty good. So, yeah, pretty happy with this. A little bit warped. I could probably straighten that out later on. And the silver on this blade looks pretty good, too. I do like that. Then you have these three stationary arrows. And then you get one actual arrow that you could remove right over here, too. And then looking at the knee pads, the green right here, the texturing and all that stuff looks really good. You get these little green flame things right here on the top of the boots and peg holes and treads at the bottom of the feet. Oop, man, I just knocked this off right over here. Supports right on like that. I guess that's a common complaint about the G.I. Joe Classifieds is that backpacks pop off fairly easier than I'd like them to. <laughs> and then here's looking at Wolf Spider, which I also dig. And as simple as this is, I think it's a pretty cool figure. A little bit of paint splotch right there outside of that slit for the eyes. You have two different display options with this guy. You could go ahead and put this helmet on right over here. It's easier if you heat it up first, but there we go. And that looks pretty cool. Now you could swing this down right there. So he's got his spinoculars, and I just made that up right now. I like the paint added to it. I like that wear, and he's got the ear covers and everything. So, yeah, that does look pretty cool, but I do prefer the alternate display option. Mm, yeah, and this looks cooler to me. I just like this more. I don't know. It says spider to me somehow. <laughs> I don't know how that makes any sense. It's just got the one eye right there. Spiders have eight, but yeah, I think this is really cool looking. I, I do like this a lot. It just looks different. I like the vest and everything. We get some nice yellow on there. I don't know, it pops out a lot more than you'd expect, you know, a Night Force character to have on the on their apparel, you know, that's kind of a little bit weird, but whatever. Uh, you get canteens on the back, it's got lots of water. He's got a fake rope right over here. He also comes with a real rope right here if you want to use this. Maybe you could slide this through and have him repel, you know, through that. I, I don't know. I, I didn't really try doing that myself, to be honest with you. Uh, he's got uh, his little spider logo right there. And that looks pretty cool. Then you have this blade, nice silver paint on it. Then I think this is the storage for the blade is just right here on the backpack. So you can just store that right over there. So that's pretty cool. And he's also got this big old gun and he's got these green shells for it. So that looks pretty nice. So that's, pr so that's looking pretty nice. And you could store effects or put effects right there if you want to. Not a whole lot as far as paint goes. Uh, you can see he's got a sidearm right over here. And yeah, knee pads, everything's textured quite well. I do like that, but not a whole lot of color variety, even though the boots are painted a little bit differently. I think they look pretty good. And he's got treads and pickles at the bottom of the feet. So I'm not really gonna get into the articulation. We know what these classified figures do. N nothing really new to speak of. I mean, the vests can hinder the articulation a little bit there, you know, but anyway, to measure them out, you could obviously see that the Shadow Tracker is the tallest one. And it looks like Wolf Spider's the shortest one standing just a little under six and a half inches tall and the shadow tracker is standing just a uh, yeah just right at six and a half inches and then you can see the night force tunnel rats just right barely above the six inch mark and then here's your tunnel rat comparison and let me know in the comments below which one do you prefer regular version or night force version uh, i am leaning more towards the night force version but i do like this one too now i don't know these characters well enough to give you guys a proper size comparison i don't know who to show them off next to so i just grabbed a random cool figure that i've really been enjoying we have the deluxe tripwire and then here's the night force tunnel rat the cobra shadow tracker and wolf spider next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time I'm let down Spider-Man. Whoa, Wolf Spider, <laughs> and I'm Spider-Man, and you got a lot of green on there, all right? Wait, are we related? <laughs> Can I get a cuz hug? Ah, oh, cuz hug, let's go! Oh, whoa, 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 okay, 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 
Kaza. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love by simply clicking that like button, why don't you? And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And a big thank you to all of you for watching. I do appreciate it, especially because G.I. Joe isn't my number one franchise, but man, I've been wanting classified figures like this or six inch scale fully articulated G.I. Joes like this uh, probably longer than I've had the YouTube channel going. I, I just really love these figures. I'm enamored with them. I've had a great time with them. They're very fun to pose around and I think they look really, really cool, man. And I think the price point's pretty fair too and they all come with a fair amount of accessories and everything. I don't have a whole lot of complaining to do about these, man. What can I tell you? I've just been enjoying the ride. I really like them a lot. Uh, however, I do have... Uh, my opinions or my preferences uh, amongst the figures uh, at the price point of around 25 bucks for each of these. The Tunnel Rat and Wolf Spider are going to get a sud rating of... I love it! And the Cobra Shadow Tracker is going to get a sud rating of... <laughs> yes! oh, no! And I'd like to know what you guys think. So please let me know in the comment section below. I'm probably not going to get a second Shadow Tracker, but... Man, what a really cool figure. I really love it a lot. Really badass piece. And yeah, man, stay tuned for more coming to the channel. If you want to follow me on social media, I've been trying to post there a little bit more frequently. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on Whatnot. We do have a Whatnot stream coming up soon. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, I'm sure I'm Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.